Well, here we have two Tilson HR carburetors for uh, for a single uh, snowmobile 299 Rotax 12.3 Olympic. The one on the left uh, is out of uh, my uncle's 69. Um, sled will fire up nice, but won't keep running there. So uh, I took uh, took this Tilson HR off a uh, part sled. So I'm gonna take uh, take this one apart and then take this one apart and see which one's put back, uh, which one's wrong. I suspect it's this one there. Your kit that went in it, and of course you always got some extras there. But I also have a diagrams that I printed off the internet that will help me along there. So uh, I'll uh, take the screwdriver and loosen off the bits there and uh, see what I can find. Well, I got the uh, screws out of the, uh, the old uh, part sled carburetor. Put them in a container there so you don't lose anything there. And uh, Look at that, all that gum and whatnot. That's what keeps the sled from, uh, keeps it from running there. Very dirty, 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 dirty. So, take care of your stuff. But this one won't have a dirty needle and seed there. It's already been cleaned, I've been told and whatnot. So, uh, we'll have to see there. So, uh, now I guess I'll uh, start with this one and uh, we'll let you know uh, what we find there. Now, I got this one off and, uh, Nice and clean, clean this, it was clean before, you can tell, new needle, new seat, all that jazz. Look here, dirty, dirty, dirty. But most of you guys there that know your stuff, you're probably saying, your 69 Olympic has sitting for a couple of years there, you got a steel tank, your steel tank's probably rusted out from all the gas sitting in it there and gummed up and whatnot. Well, actually the gas tank was pretty well almost empty there, so it's got fresh gas sitting in it right now there and uh, had the... The line going into the tank had that off and it's all free it's clean new fuel filter on it there so uh, now so that's not the problem here's the problem this seal if we look here flip this over not there so where in this carburetor is it it's probably somewhere down near the bottom so that's what we're gonna I'm gonna do I'll find out where it is and uh, get it get it right there and uh, that may have been the only problem here because uh, gas down the carburetor, the 69 Olympic would fire up, run nice, but then no gas to keep her going there. Alright, here's an update there. This old carburetor, the parts one, lost crap on it there. Look at what's all coming out. Took some, uh, had to use a screwdriver to break the sections apart on the old one. And, uh, look at that. Dirty, dirty, dirty. No wonder this old one would have probably would have never fired up there so uh, just goes to show you take care of your stuff there but uh, I've been looking at uh, the carburetor kit that was put into the 69 here the one that's supposed to be uh, up and running there which is running but like I said it's not enough seals and whatnot were put in the uh, diaphragms and whatnot for the kit from the kit were put in backwards there but uh, I guess this carburetor is a good carburetor there uh, when I was taking it off just inside here found a found a penny so somebody shoved a penny in from this side and uh, there's a penny in there put the seals back the way they go there and uh, we'll see what she does all right well here's the carburetor kit that was in the uh, in the sled there um, I think I got everything straightened out here so I'll just show you there's that one piece now this piece is gonna sit sit on top of it that and then there's the next piece with all the seals like this now this original carburetor kit is a little bit different than what this uh, one this one is but I think I've got it there um, put that piece down which would look like the, the black one on the bottom there this one and then put this one down whoops everything's got a spot here and it's got to fit just right you got to make sure your holes line up and uh, hard to do this with one hand there but uh, there it is and this guy's gonna go down
Now this guy. There we go. So, hopefully this will solve the problem. So what your carburetor kit's coming with is a uh, new needle and seat and uh, high and low uh, adjustment there. So I, that's already been put in there and uh, do take these out with great caution. Um, chances are they've been uh, set right the last time your sled was running or the sled you're picking up, whatever. So you put your screw right when you're taking them out count your full turns so go around once twice count how many turns it takes to get it out and try to put it in the exact same number of turns there might save you a little bit of time there and uh, also there's seals that uh, go uh, from your what you might call an intake from the carb to the uh, to the engine there and that uh, you got a vacuum there you want to make sure those line up as well and uh, replace your fuel filter which will uh, screws into here chances are fuel filters do get sticky or they do get clogged up and whatnot there and uh, put the uh, screws back in and, uh, and then this carburetor will be all set to go there and uh, what helps to uh, get your carburetor off is a uh, is a wrench it's a big problem on the single cylinders having to uh, try to get a straight wrench in now, for those of you who don't know too much and never really worked on a carburetor or uh, snowmobiles like that before, how do, and you're asking, how do I get the needle and seed out? Well, you saw how it was sitting before, down in there like this. Well, I just took an 8mm socket that uh, fit on and uh, loosened it off bit by bit there. And uh, the... Uh, needle there will fall right out but uh, before I did that there I took uh, there's a screw you saw how, saw how it was sitting before I loosened that screw off and uh, was careful not to lose my uh, spring and that makes the uh, plunger go up and down there and the uh, pin loosen that off and then I was able to get the uh, socket in so I think this uh, this carburetor is all set to go there and uh, this uh, bent wrench that was with the sled is uh, the best thing there is there saves you a lot of hassle and whatnot there you can just fit right in there you'll because it's a tight space up against the engine your engines you got parts over here of your engine and that uh, this one fits in there just nice and it fits in just nice the other way as well whereas this one you won't be able to get full turns in there if you don't have a wrench and you can't bend one what you can do you can take a hammer and, uh, and a flathead screwdriver and carefully tap the edges of your bolts around enough that you'll be able to get your hands in there and loosen it off. And the other thing, you're asking yourself, how do I know what type of Tilson carburetor I have or a Tilly carb? Well, if you uh, look here, you got the manufacturer, Tilson. And if we look here, we have HR7A. And uh, this one is also an HR7A. So, when you're looking at what carburetor kit to get, you look what first look at your sled HR7A, and then you're looking for a Tilson HR. Now, there's still parts left in there. Some of those seals I'll put on the sled, and uh, always keep your carburetor, your carburetor kits, the extra ones, and keep the old ones because, as you see, this old one came in handy and this old carb came in handy there and the carburetor is good looks like it's good to go there so uh, I'll show you why it's good to go and it's a good thing it's good to go so it's a good thing this carburetor is ready to go because as I look outside got a little over 10 centimeters on the ground and it's still snowing so I know I'm itching to go for another ride uh, I don't want to get this sled out for a ride too and uh, like I said before, if you're going to do a carburetor, take it apart, make sure you lay everything out and uh, don't uh, don't uh, misplace anything there. Lay it out in order as you take it apart and uh, match your seals up and all the hole holes up for screws very well and uh, you should have no problems there.